I'm here with Franz Beckenbauer in the shadow of the Ghanaian uh, stadium. Mr Beckenbauer, how difficult was it today to come to Africa and put your bid in front of uh, the African Congress and yes. knowing that there are two other African bids as well. Yeah, it was not an easy situation. You know, we are in in, uh, in Africa and they have their, their own candidature and they have two candidates and now uh, I, I think uh, also the English, our uh, competitor from England, they must have the same feeling, you know, to come here to explain our uh, bid and uh, present our, our, our bid. So it was a little bit of a strange feeling. If you like, how do yourselves and also England you're almost fighting against the impression we get today is that a wave of history that it's Africa's time. How how do you argue against that and say no? It's it's Germany's Germany's go. It's Germany. Uh, the decision will be from will be from 24 FIFA members. They are independent, and of course the the argumentation of the Africans is and uh, it's a logic uh, argumentation because the World Cup never was in uh, in Africa. So once it has to be in Africa, but the question is one, when? when? Sure, sure. Uh, but how we saw the presentations, obviously. But how have the delegates been reacting to you today? You, you spent many, many hours in, in the conference hall. How, how have they been with you? How in meeting you and, and talking? What, what are the impressions you've got? Very friendly and very open, very friendly. Of course, they are, they are, and they, we are totally agree with them. They said, L "Listen, we are African. We have to support our African countries." What we totally understand. But uh, they respect our, our uh, as a person, they respect our association, and they uh, respect our bit. So it's, uh, it's a very, very nice and almost a, a, a familiar uh, uh, situation. And uh, I think I remember you saying that you won't actually be able to stay for, to see the opening game, is that correct? No, I won't. I'm, uh, I'm, I have to go home because uh, next week is uh, the, the, the German Football Association and they are celebrating the 100th anniversary and I'm a vice president of, uh, of, the, of the association, so I have to go back. But also that's a role that, and also your role at, at Bayern as well. You very aware of the number of African players playing in Europe and in the German Bundesliga. Yeah. It must qualify you to perhaps say who you think might win this Cup of Nations. Uh, it's very difficult. I think it's uh, it's, um, it's a long time. You, in, uh, you cannot really mention a favorite. It, you have so many good teams like Ghana, like Cameroon, like Nigeria, like, like South Africa, and uh, Zambia. So they, all of them they can win the tournament. So so it's very hard and very difficult to mention a favorite. Sure. What would you be doing for the, the rest of your time here in Ghana? We are going home tonight. <laughs> yes, okay. it was a quick start because we are always, uh, uh, you know, we hold us back because, uh, in, in other words, it's uh, it's the Congress, it's the Congress for the African, it's their limelight, and so we are here. We are asked for to present our our uh, World Cup bid, what uh, which we did, and now we uh, have nothing to do anymore here. So we are, we are going home. And also, your thoughts on the, there is one absentee today. Brazil haven't made a presentation. How? How do you feel about that? I don't know. You have to ask them. I don't know. I never saw them. You know, there are so many occasions left in the in the in the past, but uh, they never went there and to, to have any uh, um, uh, presentation. So I don't know what uh, what uh, what is in their mind. And finally, uh, we have a football extra program where we like to ask celebrities <laughs> like yourself to pick your all-time favorite footballer and just tell us why that is. Who who's your all-time great? The most biggest influence on your career? Finally. Biggest influence. Biggest influence, footballer. Fu f a footballer. Yeah. I, I mean, uh, the the most spectacular, and uh, he was recently nominated as the uh, footballer of the century in the whole world is Pelé, and I was lucky enough to play uh, one year with him together. It was 1977. We played uh, with the New York Cosmos, and uh, I never forget this time because I adore him. He is my idol. And also as a person, he's, he's really a very charming and a very nice person. Franz Beckenbauer, welcome to World Football. I know you're an incredibly busy man. I'll ask you first of all, you've won the World Cup as a player and a coach, yeah. but is organizing a World Cup even more difficult? That's, uh, it seems to. It seems to. But first of all, we are very, very, very happy to have the opportunity to host the World Cup 2006. So we are here to watching the World Cup uh, in Korea and Japan to learn uh, about the organization, what, uh, what uh, is excellent. And there are a lot of uh, points that are excellent. Some maybe you can have uh, criticism, like um, I would say, for example, ticketing. Uh, so, but uh, in general, uh, 
uh, it's uh, so far it's a wonderful World Cup. The first major tournament that a unified Germany will be holding. What opportunities and problems have there been to integrate the former East Germany? Uh, it was a major point in our bit, in our World Cup bit, uh, to uh, explain the uh, all people that it's a different, it's a different uh, country, like it was. Because you know the question was always, yeah, you host a World Cup '74, why you are uh, bidding for 2006? And said, ah, it's listen, it's a different country uh, because of the of the breaking wall in uh, 1990. So, uh, 1989, there was. Uh, so, uh, it's a different, it's a different country. It's a unified uh, country. So, also, the the Iron Wall it doesn't exist anymore. So that means the Russians, the Polish, the, the uh, Hungarians, Bulgarians, they can come uh, to, to across the board and uh, to watch the games. And uh, Berlin, but principally Leipzig will be the, the former East German places where you better watch the football. Significant for the development of the sport as a whole in Germany? Uh, it's uh, there, there, at the beginning there was mere, there were mere, uh, more uh, cities from the east side. It was Dresden, it was Magdeburg and, and some others. But uh, they couldn't make it. It's, uh, all, it was, uh, it was it's, uh, because the FIFA asked for a very, very high standard and they couldn't make it. But probably because, um, first of all, maybe they are not so interested because their teams, they are playing not in the first division, they are playing in, this, uh, for example, Dresden or uh, Magdeburg they play in the third and the fourth division so they they people they said for what we do we need a stadium you know because after the world cup they continue to play and that's for so they refused to to be in the in the in the competition only leipzig and berlin left and you have a later start projected to be the 9th of june time for yeah. players to rest and we've seen at this world cup that they do need that rest uh, definitely they do need the rest uh, it's uh, it's I think it's a major point they have uh, also I think they they all people or uh, all federation they are responsible for for this they have to sit together in the leadership of FIFA uh, to uh, to talk about the situation because uh, I mean it's uh, it's football yeah I mean it uh, it's uh, if, if billions of billions of people are watching the game and uh, they, they see tired teams and tired players that's uh, I think it's not the future of football the hooligan element has been absent from this tournament being on mainland Europe there is a security concern I suppose that element will find it easier to travel yeah that, that's that's uh, definitely but it's uh, uh, that's for uh, it's our uh, minister in t for interior affairs is uh, is a football expert, and he will help. He will help. Of course, I mean you cannot avoid if you are they are getting some you know some uh, people you know to make trouble. So that's uh, that's always uh, uh, possible. But uh, I think we have to we have to clarify the situation before the World Cup. And just finally, the German national team will not have to qualify as host. Is that a good or, or a bad thing? Uh, you have to see both sides. First of all, you are automatically qualified, so that means you will be part in the World Cup. That's the positive side. The negative side is because you don't play qualification games, and uh, that probably could be a disadvantage. And Paraguay? Paraguay uh, is a very, very good team. It's uh, a very good team, and uh, but um, I think the, the German team, after the, the really very, very good game against Cameroon, so they have their self-confidence back. And I am very optimistic, so that means Germany will succeed to the quarterfinal. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much.